Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. Well, my videos exposing the sexual and satanic images in the artwork at the Denver International Airport must have the New World Order people very upset. First, Anderson Cooper put me on his ridiculous three times, and last night, Stephen Colbert mocked me on his Comedy Central program called The Colbert Rapport. William Tapley is a sweet 72-year-old man who loves the outdoors, working in his garden, and exposing the truth. You're right. I do expose the truth, especially about the art at the Denver International Airport. You can mock me all you like, but I notice that neither Anderson Cooper nor Stephen Colbert can refute any of the facts which I give about the demonic art at the DIA. How did William Tapley develop this remarkable eye for the phallus? I did not understand that I had this gift. It's a gift from the Holy Spirit. A gift from the Holy Spirit? Come on, Mr. Colbert. You sent a crew up to my place and I gave you an extensive interview, and now you take what I said totally out of context. When I said I had a unique ability from the Holy Spirit, I was talking about my ability to interpret end times Bible prophecy. I was not talking about phallic symbols. A couple of weeks ago, you got all bent out of shape when Mitt Romney used a quotation from Barack Obama in one of his campaign ads out of context. But you do the exact same thing to me, and it doesn't seem to bother you at all. You know, I see an awful lot of phallic images in the Denver airport. In fact, I'm accused that I see them everywhere, and believe me, I don't. I have posted more than 200 videos on YouTube, mostly about interpreting Bible prophecy. But you and Anderson Cooper both focus in on the one video I did about phallic symbols at the International Airport in Denver. Now, in my opinion, that says a lot more about you than it does me. What William Tapley knows is this. First, that you can never have too many nice striped polos. Too many striped polos? What kind of a low blow is that? Yes, I tried to wear a different shirt on each of my videos. Are you trying to tell me that Stephen Colbert wears the same suit and tie on every program? Come on, guys, give me a break. I know some of you don't agree, but this den, her art is pornography. Hidden pornography in the Denver murals is not funny, Mr. Colbert. My descriptions are accurate. Let's take a closer look at this particular mural by Leo Tanguma. This penguin clearly has a hidden male sexual organ. And this over here is clearly a naked female body. Mr. Colbert, this kind of art has consequences. This image of the pornographic penguin and the naked woman promotes bestiality. It should not be surprising that the United States military last week okayed sex between United States soldiers and animals. This is bestiality and it is an abomination. But I bet you won't make fun of it, Mr. Colbert. That's because this particular abomination comes from the abomination. You will make fun of me, but you would never dare make fun of Mr. Obama. And the obvious question, why so many fallacies? has an equally obvious answer. The Denver airport, they have set up as an alternate capital to the United States, it, and they mistakenly believe that if they give homage to Satan, he will protect them, and they are so wrong. And now I am going to put the shoe on the other foot, Mr. Colbert. How about all the satanic images on your program? Just about on every show, you give the sign of Satan. Amazingly, Mr. Colbert, 
you not only give the sign of Satan on practically all of your programs, you claim at the same time to be a practicing Catholic. Folks, everybody knows I'm the most famous Catholic on television. I am the only one in late night with his own chaplain. I am basically the Pope of basic cable. Are you a real Catholic, Mr. Colbert? Or are you just joking around as usual? Does a real Catholic flip the devil's horns practically every chance he gets? Yassine? Yes. All right, I want to get... Yassine? Yes. All right, I want to get... Yassine? Yes. All right, I want to get... Yassine? Yes. All right. So when something happens in the Catholic Church, everyone is waiting for my imprimatur, my nihil obstat, my doggo dogari pupsy bitem. You claim to be a Catholic, Mr. Colbert, but you mock the Church just like you mock me. I find almost as many satanic signs on your program as I do at the Denver International Airport. To make American dream their treat of choice their treat of choice their treat of choice now regular viewers know you now regular viewers know you viewers know you i could go on and on mr colbert i must have at least 20 clips of you flipping the devil's horns no wonder you are very upset that i expose the perversion and satanism at the denver airport Only art dirty seems we can all their nasty scenes. If you'd like a copy of my book, Revelation Unravel, send me a private message to my YouTube account. We'll be right back. Oh, I'm sure you will be right back, Mr. Colbert. You won't miss a chance to make fun of the Catholic Church or make fun of me. The reason you are upset is because you are part of the problem and not part of the solution. You support Satanism. You support the perverted art at the Denver airport. You should be ashamed of yourself. And now for my regular subscribers, if you would like a free copy of my book, I still have some available. Simply write to the address you see on your screen or send me a note to my YouTube account.